Hi all, welcome to the Marketing Match Predictions for the week of the 5th of November. You've got obviously UCL Marketing Matchups tomorrow night and you've got your normal ones on Thursday. So plenty to get ourselves prepared for as always. So because much likes are really much appreciated. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, G is a legend. All the links are down below for the listening channel and social media links as always. Comment down below who you think will feature in the UCL Marquee Matchups and who do you think will feature in the normal Marquee Matchups. We were um, two for two last week, and I'm hoping we can be same again. I think this week is a little bit harder, but we will give our um, best shot regardless. Um, for me personally, I think the main two I'm kind of leaning towards is Real Madrid Inter, and then potentially looking at m maybe seeing Shakhtar and Borussia Mönchengladbach. Glad back. Um, reason being of Shakhtar potentially could feature in Thursday. They have two good chances this week basically. That's hard, it's very, um, there's a lot of potential hype on them if it happens. If like, the hype wasn't to kick in on say Tuesday, it might you get more might get more on Thursday. But in terms of investing prep for the five routes that we've suggested of Real Madrid and our locomotive Moscow Atletico, Bruce Dortmund, Salzburg versus Bayern Munich and in fact our uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. and Gladbach. Uh, Real Madrid wise, you'd look at Nacho Fernandez and um, Vasquez, they'll be the most common. You look at Mariano, Rodrigo and Vinicius to a slight extent, but um, Brazilian wingers are probably going to be pricey regardless. And then you'd look at Sensei, Gagliardini, Vicino, Ranocchia, uh, um, Ashley Young. There's plenty to work with in Inter, to be honest, that you wouldn't find yourself short of options. Ambrosio being another. Um, so don't find yourself short of options. Locomotive Moscow's like Mirinchuk will be a very common shoot. Gilhelm, um, Atletico, you'd look at Vitolo, Hermoso. Um, it's kind of the common two to kind of work with, if I'm honest. And it's probably a good way to go about it. Bruges, you generally look at like Dennis. Mis even you could kind of look at Mijunli like, because you can get him for like 650, 700 coins. It's not like, and he's a high enough rating, so it would kind of cover your back realistically, really. Uh, Blanta as well. Dortmund is like the Hood, um, Zagadu, and um, those are probably like your most common players that you will kind of cover your back with. Salzburg, you generally try to look at Junicevic and Pat Sindaka. Uh, Bayern Munich, you'd look at Pavard, you'd look at Tolisso, it'll be like anyone that's generally going to be lo the lower rate. It's a little bit hard, um, and Nubel, like they're, Bayern's a lot harder to work with. Shakhtar, plenty to go with Stepanenko, Marlos, Tyson, even though Tyson could get an inform, so keep that in mind as well. You can look at Piotov, uh, Junior Marais, much and glad back is plenty um, in the frame of mind of. Lanyard, Neuhaus, Kramer, uh, Ben Sabiani, uh, who else can you kind of cover your back with? Nico Elvidi, um, Playa, Turam, there's quite a lot to work with in the team. So you wouldn't find yourself short of options. Hoffman's an hour, so like the teams cover 75 to 81, they cover two or three of each team, and you'd also be covering the League Nation rarity. Some people will still cover their back with the UCL cards as well, simply because they didn't do it last week. It might mean they might do it this week. It never hurts to have a couple, um, a supply of them anyways, especially at minimum price. You're not losing really out on any coins. You just need, you'll find if it, at worst, um, if you get out quick and say the requirements don't need it, if you were to get out quick, if there were say a thousand coins or 1200, you can get out quick and you'd probably lose. You might you might not really lose, you might still gain a little because people have went hard on them um, due to try and like, potentially try and feel like oh there's a deal to be made. So as long as you're covering your back um, with 75 81s and 2 for each team and balance the league, the nation and the rarity because they will do nation requirements or league requirements or rarity. It's, they'll do the same kind of common requirements, it's just they'll do minor adjustments here or there to kind of make it a little bit tricky and also to keep in mind for Wednesday's games if they were to potentially consider them you're looking at like Chelsea Rennes is like the only one really realistically can happen because I think if memory serves Barcelona is already featured in terms of normal marquee matchups for Thursday 
um, five main games that stand out is Dortmund Bayern because it's their classicer, Jiangsu Suning versus Guangzhou Evergrande because of that being the final in China. That's like the league finish. Uh, Manchester City versus Liverpool. Um, very strong shout there. But obviously it's supposedly the two best teams in England. Nice Monaco is the Côte d'Azur derby. Then Kiev versus Shakhtar because that's like the only two teams in uh, Ukraine. There are alternatives of course. Valencia Real Madrid, the Lazio versus Juventus kind of stand out as very viable options. Um, but for me, I would personally focus on the main five first. It is worth noting as well that they could make Dynamo Kiev Shakhtar the kind of like lower of the two leagues as it were simply because of how everything's kind of set up just now. So they could emphasise um, just say like one Ukraine player for example um, or because I doubt they would make it the league because then pretty much maybe the whole league could go up in value they may just make it like Ukraine as the requirement just to kind of make it a little bit more pricey but then would mean like bronze, silver, Ukrainian players go up in value um, significantly. Dortmund Bayern you'd, um, as we mentioned with the UCL you'd kind of cover the same players that we aforementioned, Jiangsu Suning, Guangzhou Evergrande, generally look at the silvers in both teams, you would generally look at the silvers within the league in general, I don't, you could still go for bronzes if you wish, simply because of the requirements, it's not out the realm of impossibility if I'm honest, simply because they will try everything to beef up the um, they're not necessarily beef up the requirements, it will just be a case of trying to make the options as kind of limiting as possible to make coins. That's kind of where they will go about it. And it's just a case of getting on with it. Man, uh, Man City Liverpool, you'd look at like Foden's and Chenko, um, those type of players. Liverpool, you'd look at like Minamino. Um, the Greek left back. I can I can sometimes say his name and then sometimes I can't. Adrian being another, maybe a, you n less so maybe Shakiri, but you could still go from same with also like Chamberlain and Milner. Uh, nice in Monaco, you'd look at Le Les Malou. Um, Monaco, you've got to be a little, um, a little bit more cautious because of ratings, but like Aguilar, CDB, um, kind of two common options. You could. Maybe look at like Fabregas for example as well, or like other low rated golds, and then you would look at Dynamo Kiev and Shakhtar. Uh, we mentioned like the Shakhtar players already, but from a Dynamo Kiev perspective, you would look at Boyko, and it's probably like a common shoot and wouldn't exactly be a problem. Um, you could try and maybe look at the silvers within Ukraine as well. So having a little bit of a dig around, you could, so even potentially someone like Lunin, for example, could prove quite useful because he plays for Real Madrid, but he's Ukrainian, for example. So he is someone if you were to cover your back with the other two um, options, definitely give yourself um, an insurance policy, as it were, if you want to do it anyway, and also try and potentially make some coinage out of it, but. I would say, as always, make sure you're covered with two or three players from each team. Always, you'll either have them packed, you'll either tradable or untradable, or if you need to buy them, try and ideally spend as little coins as possible. That way, you're not um, putting your um, any potential profits at risk. And as we say, 75 to 1 for any gold grade squads, bronze and silver for your small league options. And always remember to cover league, nations and rarity. That way you're never short of options and you're kind of ticking all the boxes. Remember, most of the requirements that they always set up in place anyway are generally the same that they implement probably throughout the, throughout the rest of the year anyway. It's just minor adjustments here or there just to kind of make them not necessarily easier, they'll kind of increase the um, range just due to how things are in terms of the game as it were. Well, let me know folks in the comments below who you think will feature in the marquee matchups for this week. Comment down below this here for UCL Normal. 
and also what your expectations are for backs and any potential profits or investments. So smash like, always sub the channel if you're new and I'll catch you all later.